So I dumped a bunch of extra oil out, make sure it ain't leaking. And just gonna hit some carb cleaner on there. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna wipe towards myself and that way I don't knock anything down the motor. I've already done this once, but just wanna go back and make sure. I like to put my chain up there that way if it drips, it's not dripping on my, where my gasket's gonna go. Let that all dry off. I'll spray it with carb cleaner one more time. And the thing is, I don't wanna spray too much carb cleaner because if it hits oil, it'll pull the oil out and then I'll lose my seal again. GoPro, stop recording. Let that all dry off. I'll spray it with carb cleaner one more time. And the thing is, I don't want to spray too much carb cleaner because if it hits oil, it'll pull the oil out and then I'll lose my seal again. I'm going to go around just a finger. I'm going to see if I can get off any more dirt. Especially around the studs. I see a little bit of gasket right there, actually. When you're doing this, I always try and keep, if you can keep your whole razor blade on the face, like this, even if you're just working one small area. So I can just do this part, but if I keep my whole razor blade on there and just put a little more pressure towards that area, I won't scar up my cylinder as bad. If you can, sometimes you can't. So we need to clean this head off. Um, got some debris there and this gas actually may have been leaking. So, I got a brand new razor blade, and I don't want anything to go any holes, so I'm going to scrape away. You can actually turn your project. And this, you can do at an angle, so it'll just drop down. And we'll spray it off with cleaner anyway, but the more you can keep out of it from the beginning, the better off you are. And do your cleaner areas first, and that way if you've got a brand new razor blade, it don't get all wore out doing the worst part. I try to use new razor blades if I can. Luckily my wife works at a grocery store. You see some stuff right there. Get all that. The head good and cleaned off, that'll work. Um, this is where that dark area was. Got most of it off, 99%. And it's real smooth. Don't ever use a wire wheel. Always use a straight blade. This is just smooth as a baby's butt. I've got enough cleaned over here where my gasket ain't going to. I knocked as much off. I mean, you can go back and clean that up real good if you want to. That's on you, but uh, this ain't a professional machine shop. I'm just showing you how to do this uh, with limited amount of tools that you have, so. Um, just a couple of wrenches and razor blade and get this job done. Uh, if you got a little scraper, you can take it to power wash, whatever. Go. So I got my rings put on. Here's a gap here. Uh, other ones gapped over there. And then I've got my scrapers intake. So that will be up. So I'm going to put in the far clip on the other side first. Right. So... Mr. Witherspoon. Awesome. It's really just put these in, and usually we can just twist them in. So it's partially in there. It should be to the first lip almost. I can take this quarter inch, run it through the back, and push. I'm going to keep my finger right here so it don't go all the way out. And it should. pop into place I heard something clip all right so it's in it's in there we'll put a little bit of oil on this and put that in and that way whoops I put the wrong side in oh well I'll just do it from the other side all right so my chain should be pretty oil free but just in case 
We'll grab it. We're going to slowly run this down to our clean area. Pop our crank up. Drop our clean gasket on down there. And we'll just push this chain back on here. And everything should be clean. We don't want to contaminate anything. I've seen a drop of oil right there. Okay. We've got a brand new O-ring. Goes right there. Well, I just fell on the oil, and the oil actually may make it stick. Sometimes you can use grease too if you need to. clip in here. So this kit came and this was in a bag and it had oil in it. So uh, also you want to clean out your cylinder, make sure there ain't no machine stuff. So I went with some carb cleaner, cleaned it all off and just make sure there's not any kind of black residue like that on there. So do that a couple of times and make sure you got your face good and cleaned off. This had oil all over it. Um, and there was actually a magic marker on here so we've got all that off and I've got some fresh oil here we'll put that on and uh, it only takes like one drop so one little drop of oil and I'm just gonna rub it on the inside of my cylinder this has got a beveled edge so that'll help the rings collapse into the cylinder or into the piston. Got oil about an inch or so up on there. You can kind of tell where the line. And uh, we'll go ahead and throw this on. So make sure you don't drop your rubber gasket off that stupid thing. Now if you've got some kind of bungee or something to hold that timing chain, that'd be great. We don't want to lose any, get any oil on anything. This is when I like my poker. A uh, screwdriver worked good too. So. And actually the other side would be better we'll take this off and the handle will be held by the bolts so we should be good there now we can take and we'll start working our piston down now wherever your open gap is push the open part into the piston and you can uh, rock the piston so my open gap is down here on this first ring and I can take like that and it's easier now that the open part is pushed into the cylinder I can push that back part and it'll just snake right down on there. So now my other gap is here I'll push this one down because you got a little bit of play with your piston.
And on this last one, a lot of times you can just rock the cylinder back and forth. And usually it'll just cooperate. So we should be all set in there. And uh, we'll go ahead and slide her on down. I don't want my chain to hit the bottom of either of these if possible. I haven't lost my rubber. And we're in. All right. So this goes on this way. All right, we've got another seal that goes in there. So you can get it just a little bit, touch of oil on it. And then throw it on the ground three or four times. All right, so that'll be good. Our uh, wheel on there. A lot of times you can just do this, put it just like that. And just slowly run it down. So you think it's about where it should be and usually that's where it's at especially if you've done it once or twice All right. I think normally there's a washer on there but not today so we got this piece we'll go inside the head right here that's on the bottom got our head cleaned off Start slowly putting her on there. Keep an eye on that rubber little o ring, man. That sucker falls off all the time. Rolls down the floor, you never even knew it was gone. What's up with that? I really like those small bungee cords for this too. Brass one is the bottom here. And this is the first thing I like to tighten up because it squishes everything, all my gaskets and stuff together. Before I get too crazy, we'll get a retainer bolt in there. One in here, one in here. All right, let me get these snugged up. That way I don't have any oil leaks in case there's any kind of drop of oil anywhere I really should have cleaned that intake off before I done this I'm having a little situation with all the angles of my intake um, so I think I am going to use the one they sent um, what I did is I want more air so I went ahead and took one of the uh, gaskets that I have that will fit the basically the same size hole as the carb and uh, I'll show you here so we've got that and that's about the same size as that one however that one we're going to take and grind out. GoPro, stop recording. Go beveled on the outside. And make sure I'm going the right way. This will take some skin off.
Just using one of those grinding deals. I've got a smaller one that takes off more and uh, just working my way out. And hopefully I can come in here and you can just feel with your finger how much metal you got. So I'll just keep on going. It's angled so I'm knocking this lip off first and then I can go back in and get some more of the metal. So here's my new mouthpiece and what I do with that big old gasket, is that the one? So there you go, I'm going to have a lot bigger intake now. Uh, that's all roughed up too, now they say scientifically rough up the intake, smooth out the exhaust. So I'm going to go make sure that I don't have any particles in there and then we'll be good. We'll slap her together. Get this intake mounted up. This carburetor bolted on. And is that adapter going to be far enough out now? That's the question. Something a little fishy here. Hmm. All right, so I had to grind down that. The other plastic adapter was small and actually didn't fit right. So we'll find out what the seller of the kit has to say about that. But I wanted a good airflow anyway. These bolts are a little long, but they'll work. And we got clearance there, so we're good. I don't need no drain hose. All right, let's pull the top of this carb off and get our throttle cable on there. Probably should have done that before I took all that out. Cable through there, put our spring on there, grab out two fingers, good to go. Put this in, this goes to your adjustment screw, and that goes to the pin. There's a pin right there, so that goes right on that side. Otherwise you'll be at full throttle. A lot of times you can screw these backwards and then screw them on forwards and make sure you don't have them bound up and don't use pliers on these cover off three eight millimeter bolts and set our timing push the shifter down that'll help you get it out of the way or pull it up to help you get it out of the way oops i not want to do that So we've got a little notch right there, and there's a mark on our flywheel. Fingers are dirty, probably shouldn't have touched that. <coughs> there's a notch right there, top dead center, and a notch in your case. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timing, and then I'm gonna go back and clean off this flywheel. In a Chinese 110 head, your Honda is gonna have uh, just two bolts. So I'm actually running a little bit bigger valve than what the Honda's running. And uh, so anyway, we got it. We're, we're gonna see if we can get this in. And I would say that is 
about as close as we're going to get. Which I think my timing's off a little bit. We'll see how it runs. I may have to put a different head on there. All right, so got me some Loctite. Put a little bit on there. Any rust may cause a leak in electricity, so especially if it's near the trigger. Yeah. I got some uh, filter oil, no toll. I mean, it's, it's pretty sure this is a Chinese filter. That should be good. You can use a plastic bag and like this that it came in. Smash it around like that. And I'll get it all in there real good. guys we're about to put her together uh pretty much finished with her um the pipe i got for 39 dollars like i said I ended up cutting that much off and i went over to my buddies and he had a tube bender and i'm not gonna lie i messed it up to begin with and i put a crease in it and actually had i just went to his house i bent it from there to there it would have been a lot nicer and i bent it a little too much so it's kind of sticking down but it'll still clear the tire no big deal 39 bucks for the whole pipe we'll run it and uh, it's gonna fit over my plastics so my plastics will mount right there it'll get this air filter tightened on here all right let's take her off the table see what happens okay that's tight yeah let's see if it runs fix that front brake lever i don't like that where it's at and it's tight let's see turn the gas on Chokes on. Can I start it? Huh? Can I start it for you? 